Just a few moments ago, Alex Hayden was talking about Nick Sanchez that went to Victory Lane at Daytona. Doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but we got to go all the way back to February. And when you take a look at the race winners at this level, there have been nine. Corey Heim, best of all, he went to Victory Lane six times already this season. Wants to make it seven here tonight. Christian Eckes has been to Victory Lane four. Kyle Busch came in and out of the series a couple of times and went to Victory Lane a couple of times. Grant Enfinger, same. He went to Victory Lane twice, along with Ty Majeski and Lane Riggs, also twice. Nick Sanchez, twice. Rajak Karuth and Ross Chastain each visited Victory Lane one time. Just got the one to go signal. So Jeff, at this point, let's take a look at some of the biggest movers in the race presented by Craftsman. Take advantage of special deals now at Ace Hardware. Visit Craftsman.com. Well, the biggest mover since we put him under the green flag 97 laps ago has been Timmy Hill. He's had a good run. He's 18th right now, and he's up 11 spots. Raja Karuth is up 10 spots since the drop of the green flag and he's running inside the top 10 in position number nine. Those on the other end, well, Dean Thompson, well-documented, two trips to Pitt Road has uh, relegated him some 19 spots back, and he is still running uh, off the lead lap down one. Stuart Friesen was on Pit Road just a moment ago, an unscheduled stop. He's down eight. We're ready to go. Green flag, ready to fly on lap 98. As they make their way to the Geico Restart Zone, presented by Geico. Is your insurance playbook lacking? Switch to Geico and get all your insurance coverage from one place. Go to geico.com today to get started. 52 laps to go. Green flag out. It is Ty Majeski and Nick Sanchez. They go wheel to wheel back to the corner. They are four wide for third place behind them with Corey Heim down to the bottom. Him. Sanchez drifts up, nearly gets into the side of Majeski. They're still wheel to wheel. I'm still digging down low. He'll settle in in third. Oh, they're wrecking for their back. One truck spins at the inside. It's Tyler Ankrum. William Sawalas gets nailed. Others pile in as well. It's ping pong ball action on the back straightaway. Sawalas gets the worst of it. And Frankie Munez again collected in a crash. Tyler Ankrum, Fat Moffitt collected as well. It all started with Connor Mozak, who drifted drifted up and hit the outside safer barrier with the right side of his truck, checked up, really got off the throttle, and everybody began to dice and move, trying to get some real estate to avoid the slow truck of Mozak. And after that, Todd Gordon, it was on. Trucks start scattering everywhere. Yeah, we've got we've got carnage for many, many trucks coming to pit road here to have to work on this. Uh, a tough thing with how narrow that backstretch gets. If you get in check up there, it, th this is a place that when you do get a car's truck sideways, they tend to stack up behind them. Yeah, and I, I think that's the point that, Mike, you can weigh in on. There is just no place to run, no place to hide. It is narrow off turn number two, and when it breaks out on the back straightaway, good luck trying to get by it. It could not have happened at a worse time on a restart when everybody's all stacked up. One truck gets turned around, and everybody scatters, and there is limited place to avoid. Good news for William Sawalich. He is out of his truck. His truck is pinned up against the inside safer barrier. He got out of the truck, climbed over it, and now is on the other side, coming back onto the racetrack side. Frankie Munez is out of his truck. Safety teams are tending to Tyler Ankrum, whose truck is angled in, left front first, into the inside safer barrier. There's an absolute armada of safety vehicles at the three-quarter mark of the backstretch, headed into turn number three, attending to those trucks that have been beaten and battered. Todd pointed it out, Jeff. The backstretch here is so narrow, uh, and when you think Think about how wide it is here on the front side where the dog leg is, where they can go seven wide if they wanted to. It is the polar opposite over there on the other side of the racetrack. Now think of it as a channel with uh, walls on the inside and on the outside. You know, maybe four or five lanes wide. That sounds like a lot, but not when you're running 130 off of turn number two and somebody gets crossed up. All of a sudden, you've got two of those four lanes blocked. Somebody else gets crossed up, and there's just nowhere to go. Uh, there's more involved, but William Sawalich, Andres Perez, Tyler Ankrum, Frankie Munez, Stefan Parsons, Thad Moffitt, and I'm sure that I missed two or three others. You know, when you think back, it, it's shaping up like we've seen before. What does that mean? We go stage one and stage two. Typically, without a lot of cautions, we get to stage number three, 
and we see the yellow lights go on more than we want. Well, a championship four driver has been busted by NASCAR, a penalty upcoming for Corey Heim. He had a restart violation. Again, you have to stay above the yellow line before you get to the start finish line on the restart. Corey Heim gets busted for a restart violation. And since the caution came out, uh, the penalty then means he'll have to go to the tail end of the field. Well, uh, looking at it, boy, oh boy, that, uh that's a close call. So, uh, again, you can't drop below the yellow line before you get to the start finish line. What am I missing, Tom? And I didn't see this as a as a crossing over and getting below the yellow line before the start finish line, but the lead row defines where the line is. The 11 truck made a move to the bottom. The lead row of the bottom line had slid up about six feet. The 11, anticipating cutting off, turned down out of line before he got to the start finish line. Not breaking the yellow line at the bottom, but being out of line with the two trucks in front of him on the bottom line. Explained by NASCAR Cup Series championship winning crew chief Todd Gordon. So Corey Heim, because the caution came out immediately, the penalty instead of a pass through will be going to the tail end of the field. Is that a good thing or would you have rather had the pass through penalty under green? Um, either one of them hurt. <laughs> they either one of them hurt. Uh, tail end here is a little tough. I think I'd rather have the green flag pass through because I think that truck is fast enough to stay in a good position and would be restarting ahead of the lap down cars. Being tail end here, he has to stop or start behind all the lap down cars as well. And right now he would be scored unofficially 21st as we have 21 trucks on the lead lap, but he's going to start out back when we go back under the green flag. We're working under the caution lap 102 with Tom Majeski out front. 